as this video is made uh, so like you might have missed some points uh, like uh, in the apple event so all of the important things are in this video so you can watch this and like get uh get all the things like which are need, which is like needed uh without spending three hours uh in the event so guys the uh september 2021 apple event ended and then uh they introduced us like to a lot of new things like their new iphone lineup and in the apple event uh they showed lots of amazing drone shots uh which is new so uh they introduced some uh, new episodes and movies which is uh, coming to Apple TV Plus in the next week or something. So firstly, uh, they introduced their new iPad, the regular one. Uh, which uh, is powered by the A13 Bionic, which is a super powerful chip uh, as they claim with a 20% faster CPU, GPU, and neural engine uh, compared to the uh, A12 Bionic, which was uh, in the last year's iPad. And then some drawings in the iPad with, uh, with the Apple Pencil. So this center stage thing is also in this uh, iPad which makes uh, the camera to focus uh, like when you are moving and you are recording it makes uh, the camera like it to record only you or else like say there are, there are like three people so the camera will uh, perform well like capturing the three of them like it works in FaceTime, Zoom and all of those so So nextly we have this. And then we have the iPad, uh, which starts from $329. Uh, so ne nextly they introduced the iPad mini, which is a super like a small tablet, which is amazing. So this is a picture of that. Uh, so it has 40% faster CPU performance and then 80% faster GPU performance. And uh, like that, and they said like they claim that they can like this device can play a lot of high graphic games like better than the last model. And then they gave it like the rounded thing with the like you know. And then uh, it has two times faster machine learning and then two, 10 times faster data transfers. And the main important thing about this iPad mini is that uh, it uh, has USB type C. So like if you are a photographer and then you need to uh, take the files to the iPad, you should like you can like just take the USB C and like plug it in and then get it. So, which is good, and then this supports five. This iPad supports 5G uh, in 3.5 gigabytes per second peak download speeds. Uh, so, this iPad Mini starts from $499 uh, at the base uh, model. I think the base model has 64 GB or something. And then uh, they introduce the iPad, which uh, I'm sorry, not the iPad. It's the uh, Apple Watch. Uh, I think I had to cut it out. So they say they claim that it's the most durable, durable Apple Watch ever, and then some new things. So after that, uh, they have like put uh, the Apple Fitness Plus, uh, Plus and then uh, they they think they uh, put new Pilates, and then uh, it is uh, supported and available in 21 countries, and some more things which isn't like a big deal. Uh, so the screen is up to 70% brighter and then the screen is crack, crack resistant and um, the screen like they claim like they claim the screen is like more rounded than you know the rounded screen and stuff. 
so uh, after that uh, we have and that this uh, apple watch is dust resistant in ip6x uh, and there is water resistant uh, called wr50 and then apple claims that this is uh, this has 33% uh, uh, that this is 33% faster charging than series 6 and this has the same battery uh, of the series 6 and it has an all day battery life so this is the price so the apple watch series 3 starts from 199 and then the watch sc uh, which is uh, starting from 279 and then the watch series 7 uh, which is the new one we talked about it starts from 399 dollars so this is the apple fitness plus thing and then they introduced the new iphone 13 like i think it might have got leaked or like we some people have predicted this like i saw on youtube with the camera lens thing and that thing so they claim to have like ios 15 and oh so it has a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera which is new and then you can record in 4k uh, 60 fps in hdr and then it has a new 12 megapixel wide camera with a big uh, with bigger pixels and then the most uh hype thing i was interested about is the cinematic mood like you can capture movies and stuff with this uh mood uh, which is like only in iphone 13 not in the 12 or anything so the screen is 1200 nits which is extremely bright and then it has super retina xdr display it has a xdr display and then it has true tone haptic touch hdr dolby vision and p3 white color and 800 nits uh and apple custom oled and six point so the 13 uh, so the iPhone 13 is 6.1 inch uh, and the iPhone 13 mini is 5.4 inches and the phone is power, uh, the phone CPU is the A15 Bionic uh, which is more faster uh, so the CPU can do 15 million like the cpu has 15 billion transistors the uh, cpu is 50 percent faster uh, versus the compu versus the competition two times system carke 30 percent faster gpu versus competition and then faster neural engine and the picture of the a15 bionic chip and 15.8 trillion operations per second new video encoder new video decoder and new isp and, and uh, new display engine and uh, wide uh, compressor support and secure in include in include uh, so so apple claims that the iphone 13 mini battery life is 1.5 hours longer than the iphone 12 mini so nextly we have promotion so in promotion in the iphone 13 uh, when you like use the phone uh, it can like uh, like if you are scrolling scrolling very high it will like turn into the the, the display will be turned into uh, 120 hertz which is the maximum hertz for this phone and then like if you are not doing anything like just taking call it will like just turn into 10 hertz or something like that uh, which will uh, automatically reduce the uh, uh, like the drainage of the battery life which is very good and then uh the next thing we have is the camera so the the lenses the camera lenses so the first camera lens is a telephoto camera and then the next one is the ultra wide with uh f1.8 aperture and then the autofocus is up to 92 percent improved in low light uh and then we have the wide uh, lens mm. Which is an which has an f 1.5 aperture, uh, and the uh, and it has an like 2.2 times improvement in low light, 
so this is the uh, storage uh, options for iPhone 13 Pro. So the iPhone 13 Pro comes in 128 GB, 256 GB, 512 GB, and 1 TB. So the screen is 1000 nits. I think I actually told you. Uh, so the next thing is uh, is this. So this is the iPhone. Like this, this is I, Apple iPhone. No more plastic wrap. Avoiding 600 metric tons of plastic. 100% recycled tungsten in the tactic engine. Mercury is not there. Beryllium is not there. BFR is not there. PVC is not there. 100% something in 23 like 100% carbon uh, is reduced like that thing in when 2030 and then 100% uh, recycle goal and zero waste uh, you know all those things like Apple do like to save the environment uh, so this is the iPhone 13 with the 5 core GPU and water resistance and all the battery life lidar sensor access charger ceramic with, cer with uh, ceramic shield only white telephoto and ultra wide cameras macro camera and then cinematic mode and night mode and forest uh, resolution video and we also have photographic styles which is great and then this is the pricing for the iphone 13 series uh, so the iphone 30 pro starts from 999 dollars and the iphone 13 pro max starts from $1,099. So you can pre order this Friday. Uh, uh, you can pre order this uh, in Friday uh, in Apple's website. And the iPhone SC starts from, uh, from $399 and the iPhone 11 from $499 and the iPhone 12 from $599 and iPhone 13 from $699 and iPhone 13 Pro from $999. I think I can finally afford an iPhone SE. So sorry, uh, an iPhone 12. Uh, sorry, not a 12 and 11. Uh, and then I guess this is it for the video. Please like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.